Here's question number three when we're making a stem and leaf plot of the data. Now, a stem and leaf plot um, groups numbers together kind of in the same way this does, but it's going to go based on um, tens digits in this particular problem. In other words, the 40s are all going to get grouped together, and the 50s are going to get grouped together, and the 60s are going to group together. And as you can see over here in the stem, I wrote 4, 5, and 6. And I did that because everything starts with a 4 or a 5 or a 6. Now, if it was a three-digit number, like 100 and 110 and 120, you have a decision to make. You could either write just the first digit, the 1 in the stem, or you can use the first two digits in the stem. Um, you would do that based on what the number pattern is. If you have hundreds and two hundreds and three hundreds and four hundreds and five hundreds, six hundred, seven hundred, and eight hundred, nine hundred, you're probably going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the other hand, if you have something that's more like 100, 110, 120, you're going to write 10, 11, and 12, writing the first two digits over there instead. Again, it's simply based on the problem. Um, what you have to know is you have to go from your starting to your finishing location, and you can't skip any numbers in the stem, even if they're not represented. So, for instance, if there was uh, another number in this list up at the top, an 80, say, you can't write 4, 5, 6, 8. You'd have to write 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, even though there's nothing that actually starts with 7 in the list. So what you do now in the leaves side, the right side there, is you write down the ones digits that match the corresponding tens digits. So for instance, the first number being 60, I'm going to go next to the 6 and write a 0. And that 6 bar 0 means 60. The next one, 45. So next to the 4, I'm going to write a 5. And that 4 bar 5 means 45. And you're going to have to go through and do that now for all of the numbers. So you've got a 48, and a 57, and a 62, and a 59, and a 57 and a 60, and a 56, and a 58, and a 61, and a 52, and a 55, and a 49, and a 52, and a 56, and a 48, and a 51, and a 60, and a 47, and a 53, and a 55, and a 58, and a 54. And there is your stem and leaf plot. Now what you do down here next to where it says key is you're going to pick out one little piece of the data to show what that actually means. So for instance, I could pick 6 bar 0 right there. And next to key, I'm going to write that 6 bar 0 means 60. Remember, that could have other meanings. If we didn't have this list up top, we'd actually have to think about it. Like it could mean 6.0. Just like the 5 bar 7 could actually mean 5.7. We know it doesn't because we have the list, but we do have to specify. There's also what they call an ordered stem and leaf plot. In an ordered stem and leaf plot, the only difference from what we just did is the leaves would be written in order from least to greatest for each row. So instead of 5, 8, 9, 8, 7, for instance, next to 4, we would write 5, 7, 8, 8, 9, and that would be an ordered stem and leaf plot.